How to create a Gantt chart using Canva. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. This is going to be a simple tutorial on how to create a Gantt chart with Canva. Now, there are two different ways. We can start from scratch, uh, which is also very easy. But if you want the easiest way, you can just go ahead and go to canva.com, search for a template, and then work your way from there. You can just go ahead and search for Gantt chart. And then if you just hit enter here, you will find plenty of charts to use. And you can just go ahead and start changing them accordingly. For example, this one, if we have this one here, we can just click on customize this template. Uh, and if it just opens up here for us, we can actually see, we can zoom in first, which I like to do usually with this type of work. And we can just go ahead and start dragging this accord accordingly if you want. And we can also make it like longer if you want uh, it's completely up to you you can hold shift to make this annoying bit uh, stay still uh, and also we can feel free to change the time period here that you want and also the sort of tasks that you have on the left panel here so to change for example text from within a um, template that you have you can just go ahead and double click on it and then you can just go ahead and do task one same goes for the second one. We can just go for task two uh, and so on. So we can just go task three. And on, on here, if you want to change these, we can also simply do so. And if you want to make it less, so that we are here, we, we should have 12. If you don't really want to have 12, uh, well, the best way possible is actually before we get to the template, we choose a proper template that is uh, that resembles what we want closest uh, because it's going to make things harder for us to remove these things. But we can simply do so. Here, they're pretty much using squares here as the lines, uh, which is a smart way to do so. But yeah, we can simply just remove them accordingly, and we can just go ahead and get started. So this is one way, which is, you know, starting with a template. Or what we can also do is if we just go back to Canva itself here, if we just go to the homepage, we can click on create a new design and then we can just go ahead and uh, set up. We can just, I believe if we search for uh, Gantt charts, we can actually get the size for a, you know, a well-built uh, chart here. And then instead of just going for templates, we can actually just go ahead and get started. We can just give the um, background a color and we can just go ahead and get started. The simplest way we can actually go ahead and do so we can just add some elements, for example, shapes. And we can just go ahead and start making a few boxes on the left here, uh, just about there. And we can just go ahead and start. Uh, first, let me just give it a proper color here. Let's just go for um, white. And we can just go ahead and duplicate this and have it down here and we can just duplicate a few more those are going to be the tasks and then we can also have you know more boxes um at the side here if we just get that back and we can just go ahead and have more boxes to the side like so and then we can just go ahead and start adding the gantt uh element on here so let's just go ahead and do that for that i'm actually going to get another duplicate and I'm just going to set it over here. I'm just going to change the rounding to be square. And I'm just going to make it full screen almost. And I'm just going to duplicate it and have it right underneath here. And I'm just going to copy that again. And then if you wanted to actually add the actual Gantt, um, you know, tracker here, you can actually do the same thing again. Just go ahead and duplicate this. Make sure you give it another color this time. So let's just go ahead and make it red, for example. And we can just go ahead and slide it accordingly. And we should have the dates here on top and the tasks over here. We can just go ahead and add text to it if you want. So like so, just double click and you'll be able to add some text. You can make it bold, uh, increase the size of it, and so on. So this is pretty much how to do so. It's actually very easy and simple to do. This is pretty much the idea for it. Now, obviously, you will you will basically need to implement this same thing. And you can, instead of having this bland background, you can just go ahead and get a um, proper image background for it and use it instead. 
with that being said this is pretty much how to create a gantt uh chart with canva hopefully you found this video to be helpful uh and thanks for watching